Hi, I'm Ian Rashi. I look after the Agricultural Level 3 Ag Engineers um, here at Sparshop. Welcome to our Agricultural Engineering Workshop. It also gets used for our Level 2 courses as well in Agricultural Engineering. Um, on the courses, you'll be working on engines, transmissions, hydraulics, working with machinery, tractor driving and lots more. In the workshop here, we have a range of engines and machinery that the students get to work on. So on the right here, we have some CAT engines that have been donated from industry. Um, they're a tier three engine that has uh, modern technology on it and electronics and uh, other devices that brings it up to modern standards. And we also have some tier one engines, which are the older type engines, which uh, all our students get to work on. If we walk across the workshop now, um, over in this corner, we have a Massey 3050. That is one of the first electronic tractors that Massey produced back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, she's now using, so you've got the front wheels off. Our students have been using her to uh, practice for assessments and stripping out the axle. And we do quite a lot of work on, on her over the, uh, over the year. Also in the workshop, we have transmissions. We also have rigs with different uh, elements that we use on there. So different gearboxes, different uh, uh, engines uh, as well. And we also have lots of uh, components underneath the benches at the back, which we can't see here, which are all faulty components, whether it be hydraulic, electric, or transmission components that have been donated by local dealerships for us to strip out with the students and to, uh, to work on so they get a good understanding of how things work and how they're put together. When you come to Sparshaw, uh, we have our workshop uh, kitted out with different spanners, so you don't need to bring any spanners or anything else. We've got all sorts of uh, equipment that we'll use in the workshop and we also have specialist tools in a, another workshop down at the bottom where our engineers are. Um, as for PPE, you just need to bring boots and overalls. We'll supply all the gloves and other things that you need to use in the workshop. So this is our main workshop. Um, it's quite a modern workshop. It's only five years old um, now at time of filming. Uh, and now we're gonna hand you over to Bruce Badger who looks after the level two students and he's gonna show you around the welding workshop. Hello, my name is Bruce Badger. I'm the course coordinator for the Level 2 course in land-based engineering and I'm also a lecturer here. One of the subjects that I do teach is welding and we're now in the welding shop where we, we teach the Level 2 and Level 3 students to do the various aspects of welding. The industry are very keen that the students that we provide for them are able to weld when they go to work and so we're very careful to make sure that they learn all the skills that are required. Let's uh, go and have a look at one of the welding bays over here. As you can see above the welding bay, there's a full ventilation extraction system to make sure that the workshop stays uh, with fresh air whilst they're welding. And then in this bay here, we have a MIG welder, which they learn to use, a manual metal arc welder, and there's a set of gas welding pipes here as well. Uh, and they can also do TIG welding and so when they go to leave here, they've got all these skills. When they go out to work, 95% of our students all get employed in the industry from the moment they leave. So it's a very high take up by the industry. They're often contacting us before the end of the course to find out if there are anybody that they could employ. Uh, so it's a very vibrant course and it's a very healthy course. Uh, on behalf of myself and Ian, therefore, we look forward in the future to welcome you to college and enjoying yourselves on the course.